Welcome, loving viewers, to Vegetarian Elite on Supreme Master Television. Exuding beauty and benevolence, Eliza Roberts is a kind-hearted soul who uses her voice in the Hollywood film industry to speak up for the welfare of all animals. Hailing from an illustrious and talented entertainment family, Eliza had an early introduction to Hollywood. With her gifted genes in a nurturing environment, Eliza naturally progressed to becoming a successful actress and casting director in her own right. She has had roles in over 30 films and television shows, bringing her special presence and talent to the characters in All in the Family, Animal House, St. Elsewhere, Doctor Who, and in the upcoming The Way Shower, in which she teams up with her Oscar-nominated husband, Eric Roberts. Supreme Master Television had the honor to interview Eliza at her beautiful home in Southern California, a true sanctuary for both humans and animals. And the squirrels are always up here. We call this a tree house, because, and they jump from that roof to here, and, they, and that's a walnut tree, and they eat out of our hands. From the precious life of a small bee, to cats, dogs, and even bears, Eliza has a deep respect for the existence and sentient nature of all beings. Wild animals such as squirrels and raccoons also find a welcome haven at the Roberts household. One day, a former nanny of mine, she knew we had a lot of squirrels on the property, and that they eat out of our hands and stuff, and that we've really studied what's good for them dietarily and everything. And she had been in the park and found a baby that had fallen out of a tree, and she was smart. She waited like almost a full day for the mom to come back. Mom didn't come back, and she took the baby home and kept returning to the place with the baby, you know, just really giving it a chance, looked all over and, and everything. And she brought him over here, and he and we have lots of pictures of, of him and our kittens, our rescue kittens, eating together. The squirrel eating a grape, and the kittens eating, you know, their kitten food. Um, and we then called, you know, one of the squirrel minding people to get some expertise. And we said, we have this property. Come look and see if you want to set up some nest boxes and things. And and they did. Found the market that has nuts all year round. That was very difficult. Because usually, see, walnuts, they're not supposed to eat only peanuts, so we can't do that. So let's see. We've got another squirrel feeder over here. Right here. This is also for squirrels. We open this up and it down. With her Oscar nominated husband, Eric Roberts, Eliza is frequently invited to various locations for film projects. Several years ago, they traveled to Russia, and their host took them to a tourist area that was surrounded by wilderness. In the midst of this beautiful landscape was a depressed bear held in a tiny cage. Even in this distant land, Eliza and Eric continued with their animal rescue efforts. You could see he was depressed. It was it was hell. I mean, he was going to stand in there. I immediately got a panic attack for the rest of his life. I just panicked and said, we have to rescue that bear. You know, when Eric's traveling countries like that, they give him a team of bodyguards. It's, so he was kind of the chief of police and this amazing group of guys. And I said, what authority do we go to? Because we want to do something for that bear. And they said, oh, Mrs. Roberts, we have people who need the help. You're worrying about the animal. And um, then Eric was offered to do um, some episodes of a Russian TV series shooting here. But we thought, they said, we want to do a lot of publicity about it. And we said, OK, we're going to do this through the press. That's what we'll do. We said, we will do this if you promise to get us a journalist and a team to release this bear from this circumstance. Wow. And they did. They guaranteed that they would, even if they had to pay a lot of money, to buy the bear and put him somewhere else. And it had to be documented so that we knew it was really happening. And we had written to every organization on Earth about this. 
And they did a whole show about it. They went to the owner, who they didn't have to pay any money. They took the bear, who it turned out was three years old. They renamed him Eric. Eric the bear was moved to a natural habitat to live out his days in freedom and safety. A therapist was hired to help reintroduce him to other bears. Eventually, he met a female bear similar in age and fell in love with her. I couldn't stop thinking about that bear. Just the idea, I just thought, and I said to the people, how would you feel if you were locked in a small space where you couldn't move? for the rest of your life. And every day and night is the same. Just you're standing there. It's absolute hell, torture. So fix that. That was good. We get a lot of updates about him. He's thriving and the story is there. And you know, it's encouraged a whole kind of change of thinking for a lot of people I've heard. Um, and then that station did a big long piece on it and really followed up. There was so much feedback all over the world. So that was, that was, that felt great. Once again, Eliza and Eric showed how their passion for compassion went a long way in saving the life of another being and influenced the mindset of many others towards having greater kindness for animals. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Vegetarian Elite will be right back after these brief messages. We've traveled the world for movies, obviously, and we find a lot of vegan people all over the world. It's really encouraging. 